Right, the Sturston Terry stakes 10 full and handicap 0 to 120, 3 year olds and up. 1 is Life Art Looks, David Robertson. 2 Creo Go Lighty, Craig Allen. 3 is Echo Solo, Craig Allen. 4 Mystic Guy, Dan Hughes. 5 is Slow Coach, Joshua Sullen. 6 is Paco Crystal, James Shea. Ajahn Guest, Darren Thompson. Seabird, Martin Leedham. Francesca Gomani, Dan Hughes. 11 is Green, 10 is Green Huntle, Craig Beckworth. 11 is Nashville Hunter, Vinnie Gerard. Good American, Dave Hoody. Hope Springs, Kevin Minigan. Just Right, Toby One. Classic Mode, Alex Cherry and Sul. Me cool back for CGJ Leggett. 16 horses in the Turson and Terry Stakes. The ground is heavy. It probably will affect some horses' chances here. And away they go. Quickly away up the center of the track is Echo Solo. Also away well is Just Right. And it's Just Right it goes up on the inside of Echo Solo to pick it up. So Just Right leads from Echo Solo. Stable companion of uh, Echo Solo. Queer Galaki out wide with a slow coach. Then comes to Life. It looks also traveling wide. Seabird is also very wide. And now moves up to the rail. And it's Just Right it leads from Seabird. Francesca Camani the grey behind it. Then comes Slow Coach. Echo Solo together with Stable Mate Queer Galaki behind it. Out very wide is Great American with uh, Life by the looks. Then comes... Uh, Hope Springs, who's just near the rail on the outside of Paco Crystal. They're followed by Classic Mode. Then comes Ajin Gis out wide, followed by Green Mantle and Sulmi Kulbak. And Mystic Guard is the trailer for Dan Yu. So Just Right takes him along. For OB1, about four lengths clear of Seabird in second. Good American on that one outside. In between horses, Francesca Kamani. Then Live Fight looks. Echo Solo has the rails run. Packer Crystal just behind that. Ajahn Guess is out very wide. On the inside of that is uh, Vinnie Gerard's Nashville Hunter. Then comes Hope Springs with uh, Creo Galati just behind that. Classic Mode near the back of the field being pushed along. They're followed by Green Mantle with Sulmi Kubek and Mystic Guard is at the back of the field. Just right, still the leaders. They start the straight turn for home with Echo Solo in second. Good American on that one's outside. Then comes Francesca Camani. Seabird has the rails run. Packer Crystal trying to move forward now. Ajahn Gis is out wide with Lafford. Looks also trying to improve. National Hunter behind that. Slow coach is trapped for a bit of galloping room. And then comes on the inside running on strongly Hope Springs. Hope Springs got nowhere to go at this stage. It's just right in front from Ajahn Gis out wide. Packer Crystal is coming out the pack with Seabird up the inside. Hope Springs is finally in the clear out of my classic is running on strongly. It's Packer Crystal that picks it up now from Seabird in second. Hope Springs is finally in the clears and finishing strongly but on the outside classic mode. It's Packer Crystal who's trying to tread water now. Seabird up the inside of the centre of the track is Hope Springs and the right out wide classic mode. Hope Springs hits the front from Seabird and Packer on the outside classic mode. Hope Springs, Seabird is finishing strongly up the inside very close between Seabird classic mode and Hope Springs. That's too close to call for me. As a three-way tie for the lead here, and looking at the replay, it looks like Hope Springs won it. Nope, he didn't. Seabird won it. Seabird has won it for Martin Leedham. He wins the Tercentary Stakes with Hope Springs back in second. Classic mode was third for Alex Terry. It's very close between those three horses for third. Um, very close between those three horses for the first place. Packer Crystal was fourth for James Shea. Just right, the long-time leader for Obi-Wan back in fifth. And Ajahn Gears who travelled wide the whole way for Darren Thompson back in sixth. And Martin Needham wins another one in Ascot with Seabird winning the Terson Terry Stakes.